Georgetown, as with all schools that are selective in this tier of selectivity, often has four or five equivalently qualified applicants when you look at just those like on paper qualifications for every spot in its class. And so Georgetown's really using those essays to differentiate between students who've got a similar background, a similar quantitative profile, and similar resume. So it's really important to use your college essays to establish your personal qualities and make Georgetown's admissions officers actively choose you over some of the other applicants. And, uh, you know, I think Alex will kind of speak to this as well, but it is also really important to understand that that human factor, right? Like it is a group of human admissions officers reading your applications. It's not a computer. It's not an algorithm. It's not a, a standardized test score built on like a scaled system. These are human beings on the other side who are going to be reading your essays and making your their the overall call on your application. Absolutely. And so let's think about why we make decisions in general. A lot of the time, it's not just because of numbers. It's because of a factor that's hard to quantify, and that is the human factor, or really the kind of personality that a student brings. A machine can offer certain skills, right? But a college is not made up of machines. It's not made up of test scores. It's made up of human beings. And uh, because of that, student admissions officers care a lot about what makes applicants people, and they are people themselves. That's also really crucial to highlight. So an admissions officer's personal circumstances are going to affect how they're going to read your essay. Every admissions officer is going to come in with a different background at the committee. As a result, they're going to read your essay with different levels of context and experience in pretty much everything related to life. So factors like their politics, their religion, their alignment with Georgetown's mission and culture, and even like other applications they've read can all affect uh, their reading. So just as an example, let's say that someone on the admissions committee is a Georgetown alum, and this person majored in uh, area studies at Georgetown, and they really focused on uh, post-Soviet Central Asian politics. And then their reading applications, right? And eventually one comes along, and this applicant wants to study their major. They're really interested in Central Asia after the fall of the Soviet Union and all this political stuff. And that admissions officer is probably going to find that essay just like super interesting, or they're going to have like more knowledge of the subject. So they'll be able to really tell just how much of a mastery and interest this student has. As a result, that admissions officer is probably going to rate that applicant more highly overall in the admissions process than some of the other admissions officers who definitely can see this applicant's cool, but the essay doesn't resonate the same way to them. And that type of thing can happen with all sorts of different kind of life experiences for admissions officers. And also, even an admissions officer's state of mind and emotions at the time of an essay reading can affect how they view things. If maybe an admissions officer is just having a really busy day, and maybe as a result, maybe they miss a creative a riskily creative essay. It doesn't come across as as well as it could have if you caught them at a better time. So as a result, there's always an element of luck when applying to Georgetown. Yeah. And I think it, that that circumstantial piece is really important. It's, let's say the admissions officer just had a bad lunch and you're the first thing that they're reading after lunch, or they just broke up with their significant other. And so they're not in the mood to hear about like successful romantic relationships in your college essay. I, there's just like a hundred different factors that can work against you and also work in your favor in the other direction. So it, this is one of the sort of things that we're here to do, right, at College Mind is to not lie to you and be sort of frank. And part of that frankness is to say that you can do everything right. You can have a great profile. You can write great college essays and you still might just get unlucky. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't still do your best because doing those things improves your chances of admission. 